Hi guys, this is a quick um, tutorial um, about applying um, angel or fairy wings on top of the existing uh, portrait photo. Someone uh, on the forums asked me about that and uh, we're interested in to know a little bit more. It's uh, quite a straightforward process and um, there's not a lot um, to it. So here goes a quick uh, tutorial on uh, how one can achieve it. Um, I don't necessarily claim to be an expert in this, so this is just the way I do it. And if it's useful for you to learn something from uh, this video, then that's great. So here we got the finished photo, or a rough idea of how we, we want it to look. Um, so if we start from scratch and get rid of those layers, so here's the photo I took a long, oh, this summer probably. A few months ago of my daughter out in some fields. I love the photo. You could do a little bit more more contrast, um, but we can address that in another video. Um, okay, so we start by uh, adding a new layer, and you can just click on that button down there. So we've got a new layer. Then we make sure we have the white swat there selected, white paint, set background color to white and then we choose a brush tool and I have um, downloaded some brushes here which um, have different kinds of wings, sparkles and all sorts of uh, fun fairy stuff that little girls love. So uh, you can find that stuff off the internet, I don't remember the link exactly where I downloaded it from uh, but it's free of charge if you just google it, there's many uh, links for that kind of stuff and um, I like um, these kind of wings here, so we're going to select those and uh, make sure we've got the new layer selected and as you can see the, the wings are, are a little bit small so we can increase the size of the brush to, I don't know, let's give it a try see what, something like that I, I generally try to make the wings proportional to the body if you were to Imagine that the girl had actual wings attached uh, to her. <laughs> they need to look somewhat proportional to the body. Um, so this kind of looks like a fairly good size. Uh, and then you choose whereabouts uh, you place it. So uh, let's say we place them right here. And obviously they're right on top of her. So that is not ideal at the moment. We can move them around, position them there. So if symmetrical okay so next task is to mask off the wings away from her body uh, so that they appear to be behind her and we do that by applying a layer mask right down here add layer mask uh, at the moment the layer mask is white which means just the whole layer is visible so we need to mask off using a black brush the areas that we don't want to be shown so we make sure the black is selected that it's already done we choose a brush and this time we make sure that um, sorry that was not a brush we choose a brush here and we make sure to choose a nice round brush we don't want the wings anymore here I've got some brushes as a nice round soft brush and we make sure that we select the masked hair not the layer but the mask we, we don't want to be painting on top of the wings we want to be masking them off so we select that layer mask and using the black paint there we start to mask off. Uh, opacity should probably be set to 100 um, and it is right now. Okay, and we just start painting using the black. And as you can see that gets rid of the wings in the areas that we paint. Alright, I'm going quickly here so it's not amazing masking job but you get an idea of how it's done the benefit of this is that if you make a mistake right here so you can quickly swap to the white paint right here and just paint it back in and it's non-destructive so you can at any time reverse any changes that you made without having to erase or anything like that Alright, so this is 
kind of looking satisfactory. Uh, you can spend a lot of time masking to get, make it even more believable. Um, all right. Uh, normally, I raised a little bit here over the hair. You can reduce the opacity to 50% uh, if you want it to be a little bit less uh, harsh or editing. You can bring back some of the links. Uh, all right. So once you're happy, that's more more or less done. Um, you can take it further. If you, you can add glitter to the background uh, for, or add extra elements to it, fairies and so on. You can add a new layer and you can go up here and choose another brush. There's um, some kind of wings here that look nice. Uh, you can try those. So using the new layer you select the white brush and um, now this looks a little bit big. So you reduce the size of the brush. You can either do it with the bracket keys on your computer or go up here and reduce the size. And what we could do is we can paint some uh, extra swirls of um, if your opacity is 100, extra swirls of uh, glitter or wings, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to place it here, like that. Then we're going to go up here and choose the left side of the wings, which is another brush. Select the new layer again and place it somewhere in this area and uh, reduce it a little bit in size so it matches our frame it's about that and we place it on top now again obviously they are not uh, masked off so we select the brush we can either go ahead and do another mask and start painting it off but as we have already done the work and we have a mask that covers these wings, we can just simply apply a new mask to the new layer and clicking the Alt button of our keyboard and holding the mask, we can just drag it to the new layer, ask us if you want to replace it, yes, and it automatically applies the, exactly the same mask to layer 1 and 2. So if you wanted to see our masking, you can see that I've missed a little bit here and it's a white area there. And pressing the backslash key allows us to see clearly where we missed areas of our masks so we can just go ahead and improve that all right and you can feel struggling with the graphics okay and we can mask over here a little bit more you don't want to see these white dots on top of the arm either, down here, and down here. Alright, then we can play around with the opacity if we wanted to, be a bit more gentle and so on. We can uh, play around with uh, one useful tip. Actually, I was about to transform these uh, new wings to make them larger, but a useful thing to do is to unlink the mask from the layer because we don't want this black mask to move. We want it to stay where it is to cover the girl, but we want to move the wings without affecting the mask. So we unlink the mask and select the layer on the left and we can transform our wings and make them a little bit more fluid and so on. You can play around with the perspective of the wings and so on. All right, so that looks good or cheesy if you're you know, into that kind of stuff. What I normally also do is uh, to give it a little bit more fairy tale look. I apply uh, outer glow effect to the wings, and uh, I usually choose a color that. Uh, is already in the background so it blends better so you can choose one of these colors and you can play around with the size of the outer glow and also its opacity all right something like that and now that we have an effect to this layer we want to apply the same effect possibly to this up, up, upper layer as well of the wings so we right click and copy layer style and we right click the other layer paste 
and you get a nice glowing effect on the other layer as well and you can play around again with the opacity and um, so that's about it uh, like i said you could one could play around a little bit with the levels and uh, add contrast and so on um, if you're not happy with the final image and um, blend it better but um that's about it um, so our masking is done it's fairly simple as you can see so give it a try if you have a little girl at home and she will absolutely love it i'm sure okay have a great day